guys it's robin back at you one more again i hope you are doing great on this terrific tuesday i'm doing fabulous if this is your first time coming to my channel welcome thank you namaste and love and blessings to you please like and subscribe and hit the notification button and drop a comment if you feel free if you resonate with anything that i'm talking about or if you would like to comment on anything i'm talking about let me turn this music down. I'm actually listening to um, seven, and that is what my my video is going to be about today. Twin Flame 101. I am about. To, I am becoming one with my dad. This is no clickbait. You see how I'm looking today? It's just so freaking crazy. And, and I was just like, Dad, I really want to make a video today, and I didn't know what I wanted to talk about. And I know it was just like my last video. I was just so excited. And it's just like you can feel my energy is like, oh my gosh, it's just all out. Just crazy. Just really crazy. And <clears throat> I was thinking about just a lot of things that I'm going through. And it's just like, wow, I'm awakening. Um, and Seven has been coming on. I had it on my playlist one time, but I've heard it like three or four times in the last couple of days. Like, it'll be repetitive like three or four times a day. I'm just like, oh my goodness. So I'm just like, okay. And then he's talking about the angel comes down and has a very key worth of wisdom and words of peace. And it's just like, wow, my dad actually is talking about things that are going on. Like a lot of things that we do as humans, it's just like, if I would have really paid attention, it's like a lot of us see things. And I know some people probably watch my videos and I'm like, yeah, she probably looks like him. She does say just dress and like him and everything, but is she really his, his daughter? And it's just like, you know, I, I really can't convince you until I have really solid proof and I'm working on that. But it's just like some people can feel it and some people can't you know they're going to be judgmental and that's fine you know everybody's entitled to their own opinion that's good thing um and it just feels really good to actually have clarity and it's just like when i hear this video and it's just like when he's talking about a river of blood and everything and it's just like we just had hurricanes we just have earthquakes fire shooting a lot of people dying it doesn't have to be an actual river with blood in it like you know like you know they have any revelations but if you technically want to look at the things that we're we're going through right now um the things that we're going through right now you, you see the earthquakes and the fires and and all the things and it's just like in my personal opinion we have manifested this ourselves it's just that we have so much hatred racism just ugliness towards each other you know we are so busy tearing each other down all the time we're not lifting each other up and it just seems like some people are good at getting it to the top and then it's just like when somebody else asks them hey you know i want to be like you you know you're inspiring me want to do this and some people won't tell you me i don't mind i always you know how to you know d, d what is it d uh diy you know just to help you just to make a video hopefully it resonates with you and it's just like i feel so peaceful and i feel like i'm more in love with myself and it's just like my vibrations are all over all over the place like the other day when i made my video i was talking about acoustic recording and it was crazy because like i told you guys my, my, my nickname used to be akasha because i really loved the movie queen of the damn i used to dance like her it was just like i used to study her and it was just like i, I love Lydia. And God rest her soul. And it's just crazy. I'm, I'm doing this this video. And I'm playing this song. And my dad wrote this 25 years ago. October 13th. Today is the 10th. And I'm just actually doing this three days before he actually officially made this song. But um, 
it just really shed light on everything that, you know, I've been feeling. And I'm just like, wow, you know, you're getting more clarity about yourself. You're loving yourself. You're standing up for yourself. You always stood up for yourself, but you're really truly standing up for yourself. You're allowing yourself not to be used, not to be abused. You know, people hurt you, you know, and I used to be, I want to get back at them. And it's just like, it's not never good to get back at somebody because it's always going to come back to you. It's just going to be like a boomerang. Bow. You know, and it's. It's just, I couldn't be like that anymore. You know, that did not serve me anymore. It's like, what does it do to get back at people? It, it doesn't do anything except show you you're no better than them. So I, I just, I look at things and I'm just like, you know, it's like the devil in, the, in my ego. I don't know which one is playing tetherball with my mind. And I'm just like, if y'all don't have a back seat, because, you know, I already know where I'm going. This right here is not where I'm staying at. I'm, I'm heading down there. I used to always visualize myself when I came to know everything that was going on. Well, not everything. Well, enough that I know who my dad was and, and things. It was just uh, now it's becoming more clear. And it's just like I would envision myself you know, standing at that gate, like right, I can see his house right there, but I always used to get stuck, and it's, now I can see myself walking down that pavement, I visualize myself walking down that pavement, I'm only like a few steps away from going into my dad's house to be home, and I really visualize myself like that doing that, and it's just, the experience is so beautiful, and I love to share this with you guys because it means a lot to me. And I know it means a lot to my dad that it's just like I'm finally finding peace in my life to be able to let go of all the pain and the sorrow that I have went through. You know, I'm not going to be, you know, trying to be a victim of anything because it's, I don't want to be a victim of anything. Yes, I went through this. But I'm not going to let this define me. And I've said that in my videos before. I said I'm not going to. Because even though it's like my ego wants to tell me, look what you've been through. Look what your family did. You know, and you're not home. And they, you know, they can do this and they can help you, but they won't. Okay. I can't control them. I can control me, though. I know what I can do. I can't worry about what they're doing. It's just that when I said that, 721 came up. It was so crazy. But... Yeah, it's just like I started seeing more things like my dad does because he was so calm and reserved. And I, he wanted me to be like that. Like his song I told you guys about before, Be My Mirror. And it's just a lot of things I know. If I, It's just like with my acoustic reading, it, it's just like your higher vibrations, your higher frequency. And I'm feeling that now. It's just like now you guys are so crazy because if you like, watch my other videos from when I first began almost eight months ago, I was put a little chunky in the face. Like right now, let me see if I can step on my couch without breaking my neck. So... I've lost a lot of weight. So you guys usually see me from the chest up or, you know, from the neck up. So y'all never really see me like that. But it's crazy. It, it's just like my eating habits have changed a lot. I really cannot eat meat at all. You know, even if I try to, it's like I'm forcing myself. I feel nauseous after I do it. It's just like I'm like eating flesh and I can't do it. <laughs> even if I force myself like, oh, you want a steak, don't you? You want a juicy hamburger? Uh-uh. Can't do it. And it, it's just like feeling these these things, and it's just like I had a dream that I told one of my family members, and they didn't like that too much. That I I had a dream that it was like some kind of announcement that it was like it came out that it was like his daughter, but his daughter wasn't his daughter. His daughter was him. If that makes any sense. Like he says, he is me, I am him. You know, together once in love. And it's just like, we're together. It's like, he is me, I am him. And it came out that way. And it was just like, people looked at me and it was just like, weird. It's like really weird. And it's just like, right now my eyes, I don't know if you can really see. But it's like, my eyes have lightened up so much. And it's just like, if you see pictures of my dad, 
you look at him and it's just like so freaky. You know, when I did my hair like this today, I said, okay, you know, I'm always leaving it tied up. Y'all always see me with that headband on or, or you know, one of my, my little wigs or whatever. So I said, I'm going to be free today. So I said, and plus I've been having these hot flashes going through my awakening, just, you know, symptoms, kundalini, it's like these, these, the past memories come back. And I just say, you know what, my past is my past. And, you know, I tell the ego, leave me alone with my past. That's what it is, my past. I can't change that no more. Some of the stuff is good memories, but some of the stuff I need to really let go. So can you please just let it go? Like if your 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 ego starts going and you start having them negative thoughts, just tell it to have the back. See, you ain't even gotta give it permission. Only time you have to give yourself permission to something is like if you're you're needing you're needing rest. It's like you're on your path as a light worker and you know, um, you're on your path as a light worker or empath or indigo and whatever. You're on a path or something. And it's usually, you're going to have your negative thoughts. And it was just like me envisioning myself of going to my house, my dad's house. And I always felt like it was always my house. It was our house. And I, I was always there. Like I was always meant to be there. Even though I was not there physically, I always felt there spiritually. Because I would notice things like before I actually seen the pictures of Paisley Park. When I actually seen them, I felt like I was there before. Like why have I seen this before? Like, I've never seen this before, but I've seen it before. Like, it was weird. And I started having envisions about that. And I was just like, wow, these are his thoughts. Like, he have put, he's put me here for whatever reason for me to remember this. And it's just like, I'm having memories about things I know I haven't did. That I know they're not mine. So, it's just like... It's amazing. It's just loving yourself all over again. And he's like, this is all I wanted for you. It's just for you to love yourself because you've been through so much. And you're going to be, you know, you have so much strength and so much love that you, you need to spread it to the world. So, um, and that's what I'm doing. Becoming the greatest version of myself. I actually, I didn't feel my void. I actually felt my void. I had to really feel that. And it's just. A good thing, like my girl Simone said, beautifully strange. And I love being that way when you love yourself. And it's just like, there are some times I can be alone and I get bored. But then I'm just like, you know what? That could be something else that you can get to know yourself better or, or do something that there there's no reason for you to just sit there and not do anything because there's a reason why you actually have nothing to do because there's something that you know, the angels or somebody is trying to tell you, angels, spirit guides, or whatever. But um, I'm not going to ramble on and tell you guys about this, but it's just like, I mean, I really see the light at the end of the tunnel, and it, it's just a beautiful thing, even though it's aggravating me when you don't know how the ending is. But it's just like my dad keeps telling me, that's just like, you know, on the ending of a good book. You know, why would you, you know, why would you want to know the ending? That You're not going to want to read the book no more. And I'm like, yeah, that's true. So, I'm just enjoying the ride, you guys. I will keep you in my prayers and prayers out to these uh, the people who are still going through this, this, this stuff with um, the girl who got locked in the freezer. I hope her mom finds justice and peace, uh, that she finds out what happens to her daughter. The people in Las Vegas, I hope they get some kind of closure. I really don't watch the news. I haven't really been keeping up with that, that stuff. I told you guys I don't really watch TV too much. But, um... Other than me, I, I'm not going to lie, I'll be watching me some Empire and some, the, that new Exorcist show, I watched it last season, but when I watch my different stuff sometimes, but I try to stay away from the negative things, but it just seems like a lot of things that I've been picking, it kind of resonates with me in a little bit, in a weird kind of way, so it's just like, okay, well, let me see, I might get something out of this, so... But I'm not going to take up you guys' time. I hope you have a blessed Tuesday. And I will talk to you later. It might be tomorrow. It might be two days from now. I don't know. Whatever spirit guides give me want to talk about, I will talk about. But like and subscribe. Hit the notification button. Even drop me a line and let me know what you think. And I will talk to you later. Peace and be wild.